distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to receive a special award for Global Leadership Award in recognition of outstanding leadership in global health by the late Honorable Dr. Chico Fatafe Lubeni is Lieutenant Colonel Inoke Lubeni. Again, my wife and I have much pleasure and I indeed honored to welcome you all to today's investiture ceremony for the recipients of the 2017-2018 Honors and Awards. At the outset, please allow me to extend my sincere apologies for our inability to conduct the investiture ceremony any earlier as we had to defer the ceremony for the last two consecutive years due to the fact that the State House had to be renovated over that period. For your information, we have just recently hosted national functions at the new conservatory, just outside. And I'm personally pleased and thankful today to announce that the State House major exterior interior renovation and restoration works have now been completed and my wife and I have just moved back into residence at the end of the month, last month. In this regard, I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank the Honorable Prime Minister and Government for its timely assistance with much needed funding allocation to have the work completed without any further delay. And for those of you who saw the condition of the State House some years ago, some finishing touches to be done, but it's so nice to uh, have the place properly renovated. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Order of Fiji was instituted to appropriately acknowledge and reward those individuals who have and continue to contribute significantly to Fiji's development as a nation in any field of endeavor. Now, today is another opportunity to celebrate the distinguished and eminent services and the bravery of our fellow Fijians and our friends from abroad for their selfless contributions to our beloved nation. This investiture ceremony is another testament of the government's commitment to ensure that the culture of appreciation and its recognition of individuals' selfless contributions to nation building continues to be acknowledged and justly rewarded. On that note, I extend to all recipients of the 2017-18 honors and awards our beloved nations, hearty congratulations for your inclusion into the honors roll today. Congratulations and well done. Now at this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to also acknowledge the exceptional contribution by the former Minister for Foreign Affairs and Trade of New Zealand, the Honorable Murray McCulley, for reactivating the New Zealand Fiji Recognized Seasonal Employment Work Scheme way back in 2015, and for spearheading and coordinating New Zealand's timely assistance to Fiji during the aftermath of tropical cyclone Winston in 2016. Honorable colleague, sir, I'm deeply honored to restore you today with the honorary award of Fiji's Companion of the Order for your personal commitment and perseverance in your former parliamentary role as New Zealand's Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade, in assisting with our country's wish and endeavor to restore bilateral relations during a period of rather turbulent relations between us. And you know all about it. Congratulations and thank you for gracing this occasion with your presence this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm also pleased and honored to present to Lieutenant Colonel Inoki Luveni the Global Health Leadership Award in recognition of the outstanding leadership in global health, which was being awarded posthumously to his wife, 
the late Honorable Dr. Chiku Lubeni, by the World Health Organization during the 72nd World Health Assembly in Geneva in May of this year. The late Dr. Lubeni, who was also our former Honorable Speaker of Parliament, was indeed a quiet achiever. She was an epitome of a very dedicated, humble, and compassionate individual who was most passionate with a very notable and commendable achievements as a dentist, sportswoman, civil servant, community worker, and lastly, as our beloved nation's first female Speaker of the House. The award of the World Health Organization's Global Health Leadership is, in my opinion, a most fitting and appropriate acknowledgement and tribute of the world body for this great daughter of Fiji, whose selfless work for her country and humanity as a whole should be a proud and enviable legacy and inspiration to all of us. During my investiture as a Chancellor of the Order of Fiji in 2016, and at the renewal of my term as a head of state last year, I publicly expressed my commitment to continue cultivating a culture of appreciation and inclusivity for our citizens in order that we can maintain good national morale and at the same time develop a strong sense of patriotism and pride as we strive individually or collectively in moving our beloved nation forward. Ladies and gentlemen, the Order of Fiji was instituted, as you well know, to recognize and more importantly acknowledge and appropriately reward merit and achievement by citizens of Fiji, and occasionally a non-reward to some non-citizens. Now, the recognition is made across a wide range of human endeavor and achievement, including, but not limited, to government and civil service only, also to other areas and activities which deserve acknowledgement and reward. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, in order to strengthen and further develop my commitment in nurturing a culture of appreciation and inclusivity, I have tasked the Fiji College of Honor to review the terms of the present act and recommend changes for government's consideration to improve our service delivery. Now the college members together with the secretariat are continuously working towards improving its publicity campaign to raise the knowledge, the awareness and understanding among citizens and invite a wide cross-section of our communities to submit more nominations for the consideration of the college and the secretariat. Ladies and gentlemen, it would be remiss for me if I do not acknowledge at this stage and commend Dr. Akanisi Kenriati and her hard-working members of the College of Honor who are here with us today. Mr. Nesbitt Hazelman, William General Apakuki Kursinga, Ms. Pramila Kumar, who is now the Honorable Minister for Industry and Trade, Tourism, Local Government, Housing and Community Development, and last but not least, Mr. Dixon Sito, who sadly is recovering in a Brisbane hospital following a vehicle accident recently. Now we wish him a speedy recovery, and our prayers and thoughts are with his wife, Jenny, who was supposed to be a recipient also today. Now to all the organizations and individuals who have gone out of your way to nominate personnel for the national awards, ladies and gentlemen, you have played a much appreciated and pivotal role in sharing and progressing our vision of nurturing a culture of appreciation and inclusivity. And I sincerely thank you for your efforts. Keep up the good work and keep the nominations coming. For sadly, the response from all sectors of our community has been rather mediocre. To the recipients, congratulations once again on your achievements. And today should be a proud occasion, not only for you, but also for your families and friends too. Well done, Milava Levu, Danivad. May Almighty God continue to bless you all. And now, beloved nation Fiji, Milava Levu, Sukriya, Sheshe, Vayaksha, and thank you.